Today's lesson is multiplying two-digit by two-digit numbers using the standard algorithm. Here's our learning goal scale. We are going to be focusing on level three. In particular, we're going to be working on equations for this problem set, okay? So our learning goal is I can illustrate and explain multiplication calculations of two-digit by two-digit problems using equations. All right, here are the steps to multiply two-digit by two-digit numbers. Um, I would recommend writing these down in your notebook so you have them for your reference. If you need to pause the video to make that happen, please do so. All right, so let's start with the first problem. We need to write the multiplication problem vertically, which is already done for us. You are to multiply the ones place times the ones place. So four times five is 20. Carry the two, drop the zero. Five times two is 10, plus two is 12. So we just did the third step. We need to drop a zero in the place for our partial product. Now we multiply the tens times the ones. Six times four is 24, carry the two, drop the four. Six times two is 12, plus two more is equal to 14. Now these two partial products, we need to add them. So zero and zero is zero. 2 and 4 is 6, 1 and 4 is 5, and we bring down that 1. So our final answer is 1,560 for this problem. Let's try another one. So again, we, multiply, we write the problem vertically, then we multiply the 1s times the 1s. 2 times 1 is 2. We multiply the 1s times the 10s. 1 times 5 is 5. We drop a 0. Next, we multiply the 10s times the 1s. So 2 times 2 is Four. Then we multiply the tens times the tens. Two times five is ten. We add these partial products. Two and zero is two. Five and four is nine. We bring down that one in our zero. So our final answer is 1,092 for this particular problem. All right, let's try another one. So again, we write the problem vertically. We multiply the ones place times the ones place. So two times five is ten. Carry the one drop the zero. Four times five is 20, plus this one that we carried is 21. Drop the zero because this is not a six, it's a 60. We do six times two is equal to 12. Carry the one, drop the two. And then again, the tens times the tens. We need to add this one that we carried. So six times four is 24, plus one is 25. Add up our partial products. So we get a final answer of 2,730. All right, I believe this is the last one we're going to do together. So ones times the ones, three times three is nine. Ones times the 10, six times three is 18. Drop a zero. Nine times three is 27, carry the two, drop. And then nine times six is equal to 54 plus two that we carry is 56. So if we add our partial products, we have 9 and 0 is 9, 8 and 7 is 15, 6 and 1 and 1 is 8, and we bring down that 5. So we have 5,859 as our final answer. Here are three problems for you to try on your own tonight. Thank you so much for your hard work. Here is our learning goal. Think about where you are at the end of this lesson, and I will see you tomorrow.